The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus departed to the mountains to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. One day came, he called his disciples to himself, and from them he chose twelve, whom he also called apostles. Simon, who named he Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, and Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called a zealot, and Judas, son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. And when he came with them and stood on a stretch of level ground, a great crowd of his disciples and a large number of people from all of Judea and Jerusalem and the coastal regions of Tyre and Sidon came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. And even those who were tormented by unclean spirits were cured. Everyone in the crowd sought to touch him because power came forth from him and healed them all. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's scripture readings tend to remind us who we are as a people, as a church. You know, sometimes we lose sight of that. We all believed that we were made in God's image, you know, every individual. But how does the church come about? Who are we as a church? Who are we? Some people just think that the church is just a social gathering, you know, just... Let's gather together and form a church. That's not it. Today, Jesus Christ told us what he did. Remember that Jesus was the son of God. He was begotten of the Father. And so Jesus Christ came to the world to begin the mission of the, world, of, of the kingdom, to establish his kingdom. And today, what did he do? All night he was in prayers. He has formed some group of people. But he needed, he needed to do something. He was all night in prayers. And in the morning, he came down a little closer to where the disciples were. And he picked from them 12. Remember, after prayers, after communication with God, he picked 12. And these 12 apostles became the foundation of the church. I hope you know that. They became the foundation of the church. And that's why the Kali Church is called Apostolic. Because the foundation of the church is apostolic, built on the blood of the apostles and the martyrs. And so what do I have to bring this out? It was these 12 guys that were later to continue the mission of Christ, to establish his kingdom, the church. And so my people, the church is the mystical body of Christ. Remember what he did on the cross of Calvary. St. John says that water and blood flew from his side. We were made from the side of, of, of Christ, but established on the apostles whose foundation we are enjoying today. We are one people. We are a family. And that is why St. Paul, in talking to the Corinthians today, we are reminding them, do you know who you are? Who you are should reflect in your everyday activity. You should be different from other people in your behavior, in the way you see the world, and the way you relate to other people too. That's what Christ wants us to be, special people. Remember, First Peter chapter 2, verse 9 says, You are a chosen people, a holy nation, a people set apart from other people. And so the challenge is, if we look at ourselves today with all that is happening, do we still see ourselves as the body of Christ? Do we still look at ourselves as a church, as a family that has evolved, emanated, that was created from the body of Christ, so closely relating to Christ in his life and ministry? Do we still have that? A lot of things have happened that is not good. 
But that did not remove who we are. That has not destroyed who we are. All we need to do is to recapture who we are, even as priests, as clergy, as people of God. Let us remember who we are and join St. Paul to say, this type of thing should not happen among you. Our life should be holy. Our life should be sacred. Our life should be established in Christ. That's the challenge of today. And so, my people, may we take up this task. May we take up this challenge of renewing the first of the church. It may start with us. It may continue with us. We have to do something individually and as a group. And Paul suggested something. Let the love of God continue to be effective in our life. May we be patient with one another and resolve our crisis in love. That's what St. Paul suggested. May our life be a reflection of the life of Christ. May the church, who we are, of who we are members, and which is the body of Christ, may it continue to reflect the life of Christ to the whole world through us. Regina Jenny, let her